Hello everyone, welcome to Review Bits. Today we're going to be taking a look at the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. This thing boasts 8 cores and 16 threads, and it has a base frequency of 3.9 GHz and a boost of 4.5. I initially purchased this because I needed something with a bit more juice for multimedia design, texturing, and a variety of other design and development work. So let's open this up and take a look at the different components that come with this. Once opened, you can expect to see two boxes. The bigger box is going to have the Wraith Prism Cooler, and the other box is going to have the processor as well as a few other small items. And the first item we're going to open up is the Wraith Prism Cooler. So far, it's been running between 45 and 60 degrees steady for me, and that's without any overclocking. When you pull this out, you're gonna notice it's just a pretty blank box. Nothing special about it, nothing fancy. I will note though, when you go to remove this, please be very careful. The bottom of this heatsink is actually a lot bigger than I expected, and I, as you'll see in a few moments, accidentally got a bit of thermal paste on my finger when I was pulling this out. Luckily, if that happens to you, not too big of a deal. There's actually plenty of it on the bottom, and uh, it's nothing that a thing of Arctic Silver 5 can't remedy. This thing is gorgeous, though. The fan is roughly 135 millimeters, and the heatsink is pretty decently sized while not being too obtrusive. Now, in the case, you're also going to see it comes with two cables. These are for the RGB lights that are built into the fan itself. And these will allow you to use either the USB pins or RGB pins to power the Wraith's RGB lights. And now for the processor itself. This thing is gorgeous. The Ryzen text looks even more awesome when it's printed on a processor. So if we open this up, you're also going to see that it comes with a nice little sticker that you can put on your computer if you're excited about this processor and you want to show off. The only other items that are in this box are the Certificate of Authenticity and some warranty information. The 3800X and all other Ryzen 7 3000 series processors use an AM4 socket. These processors are compatible with both an X470 and X570 chipset. If you don't already own an X470 motherboard, I would highly recommend going with the X570 so you'll already be prepared for a PCI Express 4.0 and so you can get slightly better, if only microscopic, improvements on performance. So far, I've been enjoying my 3800X. I haven't used it enough to give it a full review yet. However, based on my experience and the benchmarks I've seen, this is one of the absolute best processors on the market that you can get for gaming, multimedia design, development work, and just about anything short of hosting an unreasonable number of VMs. Not to mention it's an insane level of value for the price point. Thanks for watching everyone, please give us a subscribe and a like if you enjoyed this video.